Hey guys, Chris here with Phantom Buster. And in this video, we're gonna look at the Instagram Auto Commenter Phantom available on phantombuster.com. With this new Phantom, you'll be able to automatically comment on Instagram posts from a list of profile URLs. You'll also be able to post automatic comments randomly from your list, and you'll be able to export your results and track them in a CSV file. All right, let's get started. All right, so to get started using this Phantom, we want to head on over to phantombuster.com. Next, I'm going to click on Browse Phantoms. Then on the left-hand margin, I'm going to choose Instagram, and then I'm going to choose Instagram Auto Commenter. If I click on this title, I'll be sent to the Phantom Overview page. This will give me an overview of exactly how this Phantom works, and if I click on the Tutorial tab, I'll get a step-by-step -step breakdown of exactly how to set up this Phantom. All right, let's go in and click on Use This Phantom. So you should already have the Phantom Buster Chrome extension installed on your browser. So as long as you're logged into Instagram, all you need to do is click on Connect to Instagram, then click Save. All right, so here is where you tell the Phantom which post you want it to comment on. Now, you have a number of options here. You can use a spreadsheet or a publicly available CSV file containing a list of both posts and comments and the phantom will go ahead and run and will auto comment your comments on those posts uh, throughout the day uh, you can also choose to chain together your other phantoms so if you click on my phantoms and in the drop down you'll be able to choose data from another phantom that you're running and, and chain together the phantoms using this section uh, but for now i'm just going to choose a url of a spreadsheet and so I've already set up a Google Sheet containing two posts that I want to comment on, and I've also listed the comments that I want to post. To. Uh, so let's go ahead and make sure that this is publicly available. So I'm going to click on Share, and then instead of Restricted, I'm going to choose anyone with the link, and then I'm going to copy this link and choose Done. And then I'm going to head back to my Phantom, and in the Input section, I'll right-click and choose Paste. Now this will dynamically update and then I'll go to the spreadsheet settings and under the drop down for the name of the column containing post URLs, I'm going to go ahead and choose post because that's what I labeled it in the spreadsheet posts. And then for the name of the column containing comments, I'm going to choose comment because that's what I chose in my spreadsheet. So. Uh, you can see how it dynamically updated that and I can choose which columns are appropriate. So I'll go ahead and click on save. And so here's where we choose the behavior of the phantom. Now keep in mind there's a limit to how much you can automate on Instagram. We recommend you process a maximum of 80 comments per day. If you bypass this by too much, you'll have to update your session cookie more often. And you should always spread out your actions across several launches spaced out throughout the day during daytime hours where possible. So I'll go ahead and leave the default 10, which is the number of comments to post per launch. And if left empty, the Phantom will attempt to process all of your comments in one launch. Uh, under the advanced settings, you can choose to delay between loading each post in seconds. And so if you leave this empty, the default will be two. And then you can also choose to post random comments which is an optional setting where you can choose a comment at random from your list for each post rather than the corresponding one. Uh, everything looks good here with the defaults and then under the result file settings, you can choose to rename the result.csv file that gets output, or if you're using a spreadsheet for the input, you can choose which fields you want to keep in the output spreadsheet. But everything looks good here, so I'll close this and I'll go ahead and click save. Now here's where we tell the Phantom the launch settings. So you can launch this manually, repeatedly throughout the day, uh, but remember keeping in mind the 80 comments per day limit that we want to stay under. You can also choose to run this repeatedly every time another Phantom finishes or just once. And then there's also other notification settings for in case of an error, in case of success, and other advanced notification settings. Under the advanced settings, you can set your proxy and other critical advanced settings and folder management settings. But everything looks good here, so I'm gonna close this and click on save. And so this will take me to the Phantom overview page, and now my Instagram auto commenter Phantom is ready to launch. 
To go ahead and launch this, all I need to do is click on launch. Now, depending on how many posts you're commenting on, this may take some time. All right, so my Instagram auto commenter Phantom has finished running and you can see I was successful in connecting my Instagram account and I sent two messages, which were two comments that were posted. If I go to the results section, I can see the results of the post that I commented on and also the message or the comment that I was posting to that post and also the timestamp of when it was posted. If I want to download the results, all I need to do is click on download results and choose where I want to save it on my hard drive. You have other download options. If you click on more, you can download the result.csv file directly or you can copy the link. You can also do the same for the result.json file. If you want to download all the files from this Phantom, you can also do that here. And if you click on the activity tab, you can see all of the activity for this Phantom. So that's it. That's how we run our Instagram auto commenter Phantom. All right, so that was how to set up the Instagram auto commenter Phantom. To get started using this brand new Phantom, be sure to go to phantombuster.com and create your account. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.